this tutorial, we're going to cover how to optimize a service using Schema App. So let's go ahead and get started by going to the Structured Data Editor. In the editor, we're going to first want to look for service under the class tree. So you can go ahead and look under product um, and, and identify under here where you might find or service, but or you, I would prefer you just to go ahead and search. So go ahead and type in service and we'll go ahead and select service. Once that's up, you can go ahead and click on the create button. Schema app's gonna prompt you to name the service that you want to optimize. So in this case, we're gonna do self-employed mortgages. Then what we're gonna do is identify the URI. The URI is what we use at Schema app to reference which page you're going to optimize. So go ahead and select the page URL. This is used by WordPress, Google Tag Manager, as well as our JavaScript API in order to pull in the appropriate schema markup. The type is already selected as service, and so let's go ahead and click OK. Schema app is now going to bring up the different properties associated to optimizing a service. If they're required and recommended, these are the types of properties that Google is looking for in order to build their features. So in this case, we don't have any required or recommended properties. So let's start with the basic properties. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and put in a description. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, pick something off the page maybe that we can use for this. Um, and so maybe let's pick just the beginning here um, and put that in our description and just cut and paste that in. Again, for the image, you can pick something off the page. So we can just go ahead and find the page and say, you know, copy image address and paste that directly into schema app. Uh, in this case, we don't really have a same as, but the URL is the page that we're optimizing. So let's go ahead and pull that in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to identify a couple additional service properties that are really important in order to explicitly call out what you offer and where you offer it and how to get in contact with you. So let's start with area served. Again, you can always use the question mark to look at the schema.org definition. So this is calling out the geographic area where a service or offer is item is provided. So if you've previously done your contact points um, and you've entered a service area, you can go ahead and just type that in. So in this case, we'll pick Toronto, um, maybe King City. Um, but if there's an additional page or city that you want to put in, or maybe a county, you can go ahead and create a related data item. So what we're doing here is then connecting this page about the service with the area served um, that we're going to define um, for cities using the Wikipedia definition. So you can go ahead and click the down arrow and click create data item. And you're going to go ahead and label it. So we'll go ahead and label this, um, let's call it Oshawa. And then we'll go ahead and search in Wikipedia for Oshawa, Ontario. And there it is. And what we'll do is we'll take that URL and we'll put that as the identifier here in, in Schema App. And so what we're using this for is saying, all right, Google, it's Oshawa and it's defined on this Wikipedia page about Oshawa. And then we're not quite done yet. You're going to also select what data item type is this is. So this is actually a city, so you can go ahead and type in city. Um, if it was a county or a state um, or a country, you could also pick um, that type. Again, you want to be the most specific as possible when you select your type. So go ahead and click OK. Next, what we're going to want to do is talk about available channel. So this is the means that people can access the service. Um, and so you have a couple options here. So the channels can be defined separately as that phone bank or a phone number, a website or a location, um, or you could also use it just as one. What we recommend if you're doing a more complicated site that you keep them separate because these different service channels can then be reused across your services. So for example, if for one service you can only access it uh, via phone, you would only list the phone number. Um, or if let's say one service is only accessed by going into an office, you could only list that. In this example, I'll go ahead and show you how you list all that information in one service channel. Uh, but again, you could break those up in separate ones. So similarly, we're going to create a, a related data item. So we're going to create that data item. Um, and in this case, we're going to 
we're going to call it, um, you know, service channel. So we'll call it Hanley Mortgage Group Phone Office and Website. So we're going to put all three in this one. Um, and we'll go ahead and click OK. You'll notice I left that identifier as is, and that's because um, I'm just going to let Schema app, there's no page on the website that specifically calls those, those details out. And so I'm just going to let the identifier um, be a reference in Schema app. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the provider. This one's also very important because it's saying which organization or person is providing this service. So if you've been following our tutorials, uh, you have already created the, the organization for the homepage. And so you can go ahead um, and just type in that name and it will it'll associate it with that markup you've already created. This is one of the benefits of using Schema App because you can reuse these entities or data items across your different markups. And then finally, we're going to do service type. So this is what is the type of service you're offering. Um, and you're going to, this case, it's going to be, uh, we're offering mortgages. So we're going to type in mortgages. So let's go ahead and click save changes. So we've entered the description, the image, the area served, which we defined with Wikipedia, the available channels, the provider, and the service type. But the available channels, we haven't added additional detail. So we need to go ahead and do that now. So go ahead and click on that. And what Schema App's now going to do is it's going to bring up the data type service channel. And we're going to edit that and add some more detail. So it's searching for that. So now in the service type, we're going to go ahead and fill out those basic properties and then go ahead and add additional details. So this is the uh, service channels for Hanley Mortgage Group. Available through phone, uh, office, and website. So it's just a description of what it is. Um, we don't have any specific images um, or a URL for this one specifically. But what we do want to do is call out, you know, how you actually contact us via the, you know, via the phone, um, via the office, and through the website. So let's go ahead and talk about how you contact us through the service phone. So you'll see here in gray it says select contact point. So if you've been following our tutorials, you've already created a contact point, let's say for sales. So we'll go ahead and uh, type in Hanley Mortgage Group Sales Contact Point and you're done. That's you've defined the sales because you've already defined that in that sales contact point. If you then wanted to also add a service URL, you could go ahead and, and add that in. Um, and so here we're just going to take uh, Hanley Mortgage Group, the URL, and go ahead and put that in. And it is going to want to fully, so HTTP colon colon um, for the mortgage group. And then if you wanted to do a service location, you'll see in gray it's looking for a place. So let's go ahead and create a, a, a data item for that place. Um, and so what we'll say, it's the Hanley Mortgage Group downtown office. Um, and we'll just leave it okay as a place. And we'll leave the, the URI. There's not a page that specifically just describes that place. Um, and so we'll, we'll leave that as is. So we'll click on OK. And that's what we're doing for this page, but you'll notice that we just created that new place, and so we're gonna have to add that detail. So we'll go ahead and click on Save Changes. And we're gonna go ahead and click on that location and click on Edit. And so now what we're gonna do is describe this downtown office. You may say, Martha, this is a lot of sort of connected data items, and it is. Um, but the brilliant part is if you're using Schema App across the entire site, you'll want to reuse this. So we'll go ahead and add a address in here. So the street address. So let's go ahead and we'll pull up the street address for the Hanley Mortgage Group. And here it is, 44 Charles Street West. So let's go ahead and enter that in. And post box, we don't need. Locality is Toronto. And again, if you don't know what these mean, you can click on the question mark. Here it's giving you an example of the, the city of Mountain View, um, Ontario, and then we're in Canada. And then we'll go ahead and select the postal code directly off the site, enter that in. Uh, 
This one was extra, so we'll get rid of it. And so that's all we need. We, we just wanted to identify the location. Um, and then again, there's if there's anything else that you want to kind of, you can put like the geo coordinates in there um, and you know open specif specify the hours. Uh, in this case, we're just going to put the address since that's the minimum that we need and click on save changes. So it's saying it's, it is looking for some additional information on contact point. Uh, and we're going to say that's okay. We're trying to define the specific location. Excellent. So now you can see sort of how is this how is this connected? So it's coming from the Hanley Mortgage Group office, and this is tied to our self-employed mortgages. And so this brings us back to our primary page that we are optimizing around the service that we are offering, and it describes the areas we serve, how you can contact us for the service, who's providing the service, what type of service we're providing, um, and then we're done. So if you're using our WordPress plugin or Google Tag Manager or our JavaScript API for automatic deployment. When you click on save, that markup is now available to be pulled in. Or if you want to cut and paste it manually, you can go to actions to get JSONLD um, and cut and paste that in. So that's how you go ahead and optimize a service page.